Hey everybody, it's Sandy. How are you? It's been a while since I've done one of these Facebook Live videos and I am excited to be here with you. I have so much to share and I'm going to try and keep this to like 10 minutes if I can. <clears throat> I know, hey Rob, I know um, some of you have been following the journey that I'm on and sometimes I eke out information on what's happening with me in, uh, on Facebook, and, but there's a lot that you guys don't know. So here's the, I want to share with you what I've been up to, what's been happening, and what I'm being called to offer for all of us. Because if you're listening to this, you are, oh, I'm getting goosebumps already. If you're listening to this, you are most likely a part of it. So I'm so glad you're all here. Hi to everybody, and I want to say hi to everybody who's going to be watching this on the replay. Oh, I'm a little nervous because this is some really powerful stuff that's been happening so here's what I've been up to. So most of you know, um, the beginning of January it got broken open with the ending of a relationship. And the work that I do with my clients is helping them move through the times where they're broken open. When you're going through a process of being broken open, it's horrible, it's scary, and it's painful. So if you guys understand, if any of you watching, if you understand that, give me a thumbs up if you understand what I mean by that when you're being broken open. Um, I think we all can relate to that. But what happened for me was, I will sum it up in two words, radical transformation. Um, so when, when we're broken open, you have a chance to take a look at um, what's inside. And sometimes it's not all pretty, when you look inside and what I decided was I want to look at anything inside of me that is keeping me from living my best life and serving in the way that I know I meant to serve here so um, what I oh goosebumps so what I realized was I had been and this has been my pattern throughout my life plugged into so many things in the world people men um, work plugged into everything out there more so than I was plugged into um, the God within. And I gotta tell you, hi guys, that is a very painful place to live because if something in your life, right, if your work situation um, is you know, a little wobbly, you're gonna feel wobbly. If your relationship is wobbly, you'll feel wobbly. If your um, if finances are wobbly, you will feel wobbly. And so what I did, it was January 28th, I completely surrendered. Now. Oh, goosebumps. Now, most of you guys know I've been teaching about surrender for a long time. I did a six month program, group coaching program, two years ago, all about surrender. I do it with my clients, I teach them. And one thing that I realized that I've never really surrendered. Now, it's easy for me to surrender a parking space, it's easy for me to surrender a conversation with someone, it's very easy for me to um, surrender like the little stuff, but I've never surrendered my will. And that's what I was shown in this broken open period. And I was sort of guided, nudged from within me, saying, you gotta surrender your will. And I fought it tooth and nail. It was so scary, so scary, you guys. And as I was surrendering my will, I had to realize all the things that I had rooted my identity in. My identity, my well-being was all out there. And as I surrendered my will, I would have these conversations with God. And now, for those of you guys who know me, hi everyone, for those of you guys who know me, you know that I've been having conversations with God for the last 23 years, ever since my daughter Talia died. And those conversations have been really, really powerful. I even wrote two books, Congratulations, It's an Angel, and What Was God Thinking with my conversations with God about everything. But yet I still would sometimes only go to God in times of trouble. Oh, wow, which just came through as T.O.T., times of trouble, like a tot, like a little child. And that's where I noticed that I was coming from a lot. Um, so as I surrendered my will, I would have these conversations with God, and I would say, God, I'm really scared right now because I can't see what's in front of me. I don't know what's going to happen. And yet I, I want to root my safety, my security, my identity, and my well-being in you. And as I did that, I was shown every single day, every single day, things that I was holding around my heart that were no longer serving me. They weren't serving the relationship I was in. They weren't serving my finances. They weren't serving the way that I know I'm being called to show up as a guide for so many people. 
And so I had to look at everything. And what I found, and I'll share with you what I, what I saw when I looked in my heart, but what I found as I started looking at all of these things and started clearing them out, what I found was this energy that I call Braveheart. Now, if you're listening, and if you're resonating with anything that I'm saying, and you, if you're getting goosebumps, if you're like, oh my God, me too, what I want you to know is you most likely, well, I believe we all have this energy of Braveheart inside of us. I believe it was imprinted in every single one of us from the moment we were born and the conditioning that we've lived with from little kids, the conditioning, the, the lies, the illusions, the misperceptions, all of that covered up this energy of Braveheart. So what is Braveheart? To me, Braveheart is this energy of strength. It's the, if you're a woman, it's the divine feminine. If you're a man, it's the divine masculine. And I actually believe we hold the divine feminine and the divine masculine in each of us. We're not just one. Mary, and Marie says, my wonder warrior. I actually call it a miracle warrior. Because when you start tuning into that brave heart energy and you are firmly rooted in the divine, miracles happen. I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle happen in my life in this last over a month and I keep saying it can only be God it can only be God so a brave heart is also one who lives according to their own truth who lives according to what is right for them they keep relationships in the right order meaning the relationship with the divine the relationship with themselves and the relationship with other people in that order so that you can get filled up and you can be a servant here a servant leader, how, whatever that means to you. Maybe you're a messenger, maybe you're a healer, maybe you're a coach, maybe you have your own business, maybe you are the leader of your family, but there is this brave heart energy in you that is being activated. And so many of us are being broken open, you guys. Maybe it's in your, uh, maybe there's something happening, a breakdown in the body. Maybe it's uh, a breakdown in your finances. Oh, goosebumps. Maybe it's a breakdown because someone that you love has died. Maybe it's a breakdown in relationships. We are all being, I believe, broken down and broken open so that this energy of brave heart can rise and come through because it, in my heart, I know that it's brave hearts who join together. And we're going to be creating a community that I'll tell you about in a minute. When we come together, we truly will be able to shift the energy of this world, moving from separation to oneness again. Whenever we're being um, challenged, whether it's with the body or relationships or with money or around loss, we have a tendency to separate from God. That's what I saw that I did. When I, as soon as I get plugged in or rooted in the world out there, I've taken my attention and my focus away from the God within, and that's when, I, that's when everything gets messed up. So I also realized that, um, yeah, how much... How much of my life, and, and please, again, give me a thumbs up or a like or whatever, make a comment, how much I was hiding. Um, I love Marianne Williamson's quote that says, it's not our darkness we're most afraid of. Now, we think we're hiding our darkness. I was hiding my light. I was hiding, and I know exactly why I was. Yay, I, I know you guys feel this. I've hidden. Uh, it, was a, it was conditioning from my past, from generations, how, tell you, let me tell you what I was hiding, okay? <laughs> As a young kid, hiding feelings, hiding emotions, hiding, uh, this is a, I would hide what I was eating. I would wait until people weren't in the room and then I would eat um, because I was embarrassed. There was some shame. I would hide my feelings all through relationships. I would hide anger. I would hide love. I would hide, most importantly, what I'm realizing, the biggest thing that I've hidden is my light and the fact that I and all of you, I believe, are here, are being called to step up with our gifts, step up with our talents, and be the change agent here. Not necessarily by fixing anyone. You guys, that was another thing that I was trying to hide, the fact that I was trying to fix everything and everybody and it was not working. So what happens when you try to hide all of that? You feel small. You feel... Um, frustrated, like, why can't I make this thing work, whether it's a relationship or your body or your money or your, um, your business? 
it's because there's something that's not plugged in to the God within. I've seen it. I've seen it like every day I'm getting all of these, um, these awarenesses and I want to share something that came through in my writing. But before I do that, I want you to know that first of all, you can't hide from God. You can't. You can't hide your light from God. God knows you. You can't hide any, um, any trait that you have, any character defect. You can't hide a bad habit. Nothing. And here's the really cool thing. <laughs> you think you're hiding from the world. You might be trying to. But you're going to be the one that's in pain. I've been there and I've done that. And I've made a decision. I will no longer hide. I won't hide what I feel. I won't hide my gifts. I won't hide my talents. I won't hide the fact that I'm a medium. I won't hide the fact that I'm having these amazing, powerful, miraculous conversations with God and the healing that comes through for my client sessions. I will no longer hide that. So I am um, I'm being called now to step up and create a brave heart community of all like-minded souls. And I have mapped out, I love... Tanya Taylor Rubenstein, beautiful coach of mine. Um, we are mapping out uh, an entire year of a brave heart experience, and you can just dip your toe in if you want to, or you can go all the way and dig in deep. But this is going to help you to get free in your body, in your sexuality, in your finances, in your relationships. Um, get free around this whole idea of death. Get free in terms of your relationship with God because. When you do that, you are now able to show up in this world completely authentic, no masks, no, um, no hiding, no pretending. You are here to show up as your authentic self. You are being called, if you feel this, you are being called to share a message of something that you've gone through. The world needs you. This world needs you. And I've been hearing this call for a long time, but I was hiding. I was hiding everywhere in my own way. I was, and here's the thing too, right? If you've got um, money issues, that's going to bring your attention and your focus there and you can't fully show up. If you have relationship issues, that's going to bring your attention and your focus there and you can't fully show up. If you have body issues and illness or shame or whatever it is, it's going to bring your attention there and you can't fully show up. And if you have um, unresolved grief and issues around death and anger at God, you can't fully show up. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here for you as your guide. I promise my promise to you, my promise to myself is consistency. So we're going to be offering all kinds of really cool stuff um, that's going to help you throughout this next year to get real, to get authentic, so that you can fully show up and be the person that you are called to be be the change agent that you are called to be, be the business leader, be the mom, the dad. Um, oh, it's so cool. Little miracles are happening. My relationships are healing. It's amazing what happens when you're able to look at what's around your heart and you realize, oh my God, this stuff, the gunk that was around my heart was actually the filter through which I saw this person. It's amazing. I I've seen healings in my relationship that I never, ever but possible. And I keep saying it can only be God. It can only be God. So this is an end of separation. It's a time for us to heal together. It's a time for us to come together and serve. Um, and it's a time to move away from our conditioning back to unconditional love, which in my heart can only be through the divine. So let me share with you. I said I was going to keep this to 10 minutes and I'm already at 15 minutes. But um, as you're listening, um, if you're interested in this, in this brave heart movement is what I want to call it, um, just make a note and we're going to at some point create a Facebook group for that. So just say yes, please add me and, and we'll make sure we do that. I want to share with you some writing that I did um, Oh, yesterday. Here it is. You cannot hide from God. We attempt to hide from the world, the people in our lives. We hide because we're trying to protect. We hide because we're afraid, ashamed. What if people knew? What would people say? What would they think? What if they don't love me? What if they don't validate me? This shows where we've placed our value in the hands of the world. And as we place our value 
our identity in God. There is no hiding. There can be no hiding. So I am allowing access to every corner of my mind, my body, my heart, and my spirit. And it's right there. As I do that, I know that I'm loved exactly as I am. You guys, when I have these conversations with God, it's almost like, God, here, I want you to look at this with me. God says, that's all you got. Come on, bring more. Empty out your pockets. Bring more. And if you can learn anything, and I know part of what my life is, I teach through my life experiences, is that when we remember that we can't hide from God and that there is this all loving, however you call God, call it source, Jesus, um, higher power, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that, there's, that you know that there is this power that sources you and when you are fully plugged into that, that is where you are going to feel unconditional love. That is what heals. And so I promise you, as your guide, I am going to be showing up for you and leading you through because I'm taking my step, my, my um, position as a leader. Finally, took me a while. But I'm going to lead you through all kinds of experiences that are going to help you to burn off the karma and all the conditioning that you've lived with. Um, yeah, and, and I want to leave you with this. Think about this, you guys. At birth and at death, there can be nothing left to hide. That's it. There's nothing left to hide. Here you are. Here you are in the world, leaving the physical plane, nothing left to hide. Imagine if we were to live our lives fully authentic, fully showing up, fully rooted with our identity, our safety, our security, and our well-being, firmly rooted in the God within. Do you know how much of a difference we're going to make in this world? Big. Because ah, whenever we come together, really cool stuff happens. So... I want you to know, I want to thank you for being here. Um, I love each and every one of you. I know I've met, oh, God. <laughs> I know um, I've met some of you in person. I love you. And I, and Marie says, Aline in, all me in, oh, thank you. Yeah. And it's going to be, um, it's going to, we're going to have a lot of fun together, you guys. And so I want to thank you for spending this time with me. And I, I know I don't need to do this, but I just need to do a Ho'oponopono with you. I love you. And I'm sorry that I've kind of played the hokey pokey here. You see me and then you don't see me. You see me and then you don't see me. It's because when, I, when I'm going through a transformation, I need to cocoon. And it's been a beautiful process. Beautiful process. I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful that Brian, that he, has, um, he actually led me into this whole thing. He's a beautiful soul. And... So I love you guys. I'm sorry that I haven't fully been here. Please forgive me and thank you. So from my heart to you, I am so honored to be a brave heart warrior and miracle warrior. And I am so excited to invite you into this world where you're going to feel the brave heart warrior in you rise up. I love you. I'll see you guys soon.